Hollywood Spotlight, presenting an all-star review from the entertainment center of the world, Hollywood. And here we are again, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, this is Tom Jeffrey, introducing to you another of our sparkling Hollywood spotlights. We're quite sure you're going to have a marvelous time here at our review because we've lined up what we really believe to be a great array of talent. Just listen to this. The young man from the South whose music you've just heard and who is just about to bring you another of his swell arrangements, I mean, Phil Harris, and the Hollywood troubadour Larry Burke is back with us again, as are also those five dusky purveyors of rhythm and melody, the five Jones boys. And then, of course, the featured comic of our show, Bob Bird. Well, Phil, you've picked the opening spot. Let's hear from you. And now I'm going to sing Pink Elephants. And you needn't be so skeptical because I've seen them, too. <laughs> Folks, it was five o'clock this morning when I finally walked into my house. Yes, and all those little men were uh, following me, and I was as nervous as a mouse. You see, uh, I'd been out on one of those parties that didn't break up until four, and then when I finally woke up this morning, let me tell you what I saw. Pink elephants on the table, pink elephants on the chair, pink elephants were on my ceiling. Yes, yes, they were everywhere. So I put my head right in the bed, and then I said a prayer. And when I finally came to and blinked my eyes, what do you suppose was there? Pink elephants on the ceiling, pink elephants on my wall, and a lavender alligator was running my shoes up and down the hall. Yes, I'm all through making that whoopee, because I raised my hand and swore that I never intend to ever see again those pink elephants anymore, yes.
Pink elephants on the table. Pink elephants were on the chair. Pink elephants decorated my ceiling. Yes, they were climbing around everywhere. So I put my head right in the bed, and then I said a prayer. And when I finally came to and blinked my eyes, look out here, what do you suppose was there? There they were, those elephants, yes. They were on the ceiling and on the wall. And there he was, that alligator had my shoes just tearing up and down that hall. Now I'm all through making whooping because I raised my hand and swore that I never intend to ever see again those pig elephants anymore. Thanks, Phil, that was swell. Cute little toys, those pink elephants. And speaking of toys, here's Larry Burke, folks, all seated in front of his old fireplace, waiting for Santa Claus. Come in, Larry, and favor us. Oh, fireplace, why you love your burning? Oh, fireplace, memories keep returning. I see her face in each golden ember. Oh, fireplace, remember. Remember how we'd sit here in the gloaming of your light till the stars were out of sight. How I wish that she were here tonight. Oh, fireplace, you're my consolation. You bring back dreams of long ago. The old fireplace. My, my, I can just see old Santa right now, can't you? Or uh, can you? Anyway, here's a young man who really isn't a toy. He's just the plaything of fate. Ladies and gentlemen, the young man of the mountains, the original slow brain through Arkansas, Bob Bird. How are you this time, Bob? Fine, Tom. How are you? You know, <laughs> well, not bad, not heard bad. Heard you talking about toys, and I yes. just happened to think, Tom, it's I just found out the other day why my little boy ain't been getting any toys for Christmas. Well, uh, does he ever get any toys, Christmas or birthdays or any other time? But tell me, why didn't he get any toys? Well, you see, I've been leaving it all up to Santa Claus. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Listen, do you mean to tell me that you didn't know about Santa Claus until just the other day? No, Tom, I'm just kidding you. You know, I've known about Santa Claus ever since I was 19 years old. Since you were 19, huh? <laughs> well, listen... What do you think of Christmas anyway, Bill? Well, uh, Christmas is the season of year when we trade something we'd like to have for something we ain't got no use for. <laughs> <laughs> and pay the tax, huh? But surely you gave your little boy something for Christmas. Yeah, I got him a toy balloon, but I busted it, Tom. Oh, how'd you bust it? I was trying to scrape off the advertisement. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen. <laughs> What did you get your wife? <laughs> I got her a radio. Is that what they call it, a radio? <laughs> okay with me. You know, we live in a double house, and the walls are kind of thin. My wife uh -huh. said the neighbor's been listening to everything we had to say. I see. She figured if we got a radio, the neighbors uh, couldn't hear what we was talking about. Well, did it work? Yeah, but my wife didn't like it. She uh -huh. found out when the radio was on, she couldn't hear what the neighbors were talking <laughs> about. <laughs> well, listen, how, how are you and your wife getting along now? Tell me. Oh, we're getting along all right, I reckon, but she gave me another scare the other day. She threatened me about her mother again. You mean she threatened to go back to her mother? No, 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 that would be a promise, Tom. I said she threatened me. <laughs> but what do you mean? Well, she threatened to bring her mother out here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, she says she's got as much right to bring her mother out here as I have to have that absent-minded old uncle out here with us. Well, is he very absent-minded, Tom? Well, now, my wife and I were standing out on the sidewalk waiting for him when he drove up in a taxi cab. And my uncle got out and kissed the taxi driver and handed my wife 60 cents. <laughs> well, listen, has your uncle improved any since he came out here? No, Tom, I believe he's a little worse, if anything. The other morning at breakfast, his back started to itch, and he poured molasses down his back and scratched his pancake. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bob Burns. And that was Tom Post talking to Bob, folks. Well, now, let's hear from the five lads who boast of a particular kind of harmony, and they're going to show us some right now. 
The Jones Boys. Can't you see? I ain't heard a 